Welcome back here at 518. Time capsules are a fascinating way to bestow upon generations to come a sampling of life in the era's past. And they don't always need to be entombed in concrete. Sometimes they reside innocently in attics and garages. That was the case for a long time to Hatchby resident, and she entrusted her time capsule to 17th Robert Price, who brings us another installment of his ongoing series, Where We Live. A typically bustling day on the streets of New York, or maybe that's Chicago. No, look again. That's Chester Avenue, downtown Bakersfield. The year is 1945, and the sidewalks are packed. In those pre-shopping mall, pre-Amazon days, downtown was the heart of the city. A much smaller city, too, although you wouldn't know it looking at this photo taken by Bernie Dodd. That is my dad. He was born in 1928 in Missouri. They left during the midst of the Dust Bowl, and they were part of, you know, the, like the Grapes of Wrath migration to California for my granddad to find work in the oil fields. That's Cindy Dodd Tomasulo, a retired middle school teacher who grew up in Tehachapi. This year, she decided it was time to share some of the work from the 30s and 40s of her professional photographer father. Some of Bernie Dodd's prints have faded with time, but there's still a window to Kern County's post-war past. Pre-war, too, in some cases. Yeah, there he is. He realized that he loved photography. It was a big deal. Whoa, there's Dad on a motorcycle with a cute girl. Go, Dad. Yeah, that was the age he was when he was snapping those Bakersfield photos right there. The love of photography runs deep, deep in our family. You know, my grandma was the one that was started taking tons of pictures like in 1910, 1912. Like this classic, Ma and Pa, somebody in front of the house with their shotguns, an old-fashioned oil derrick behind them. So Bernie was born to this craft. And he realized by taking pictures and, you know, doing the developing and printing himself, in a bathroom that he could make money that way and he could help contribute to the family. Bernie Dodd seems to have been the official photographer for this group, the Missouri Club, Dust Bowl Transplants from the Show Me State. I literally did not know that I had this treasure trove of photos and you know when you grow up a photographer's kid you're surrounded by photos and negatives and slides and everything your entire life. You just are. Plowing through tubs and tubs of photos can be daunting. And it wasn't until I retired that I was like, okay, I've got to digitize these. The amount of photos that I've kept that I have is insane. My first thought was I need to find a way to share these. I need to find a way to get them to the people that are at this point relatives that they these are photos that they might not know about. The album is full of long-lost Bakersfield landmarks, like this. Okay, so that's of uh, the old Bakersfield, I think it was called The Plunge. And long-lost characters. If anybody out there can identify who this guy is, it sounds like he was a pretty cool late-night DJ kind of guy. Naturally, a lot of the Dodd family shows up in these photos. Yeah, that's my dad's other cousin, Kenneth Gables. The huge thing in our family is he's the one guy that actually played professional baseball. Check out the 1940 Navy recruitment banner directed toward women on the city's Beale Clock Tower. Here's a mystery she'd like to solve. I'm hoping that some of the history buffs of the Bakersfield area can really dive into because I'm thinking these young men are being deployed. Where did these guys go? Where did they come from? Where, did they, where were they going to? I would love to know what the history of the military was in the Bakersfield area. Okay, so there's been some online speculation about this one. Yes, that's the Sill Building at 18th and Chester, downtown Bakersfield, 1945. I'm assuming that it was the end of the war. And I just don't feel like that the streets would be that dirty. It had to be some sort of a, a parade of some sort of celebration. Late night milkshake, anybody? Here's a now anonymous burger joint from the 40s. Like a drive up, and you would expect some waitresses in roller skates to come to your car. When did teenagers ever get this dressed up? I'm thinking maybe a prom or debutante kind of a dance, because they all look like they're wearing their finest. Cindy Dodd Tomasulo says these photos are really Bakersfield's property. I know the dad would want us to share these and get them to the people who are in the pictures. I don't know that that's possible. Sharing photos and history is, it's huge. It seems like Bakersfield changes from year to year, but looking at a 70 year old photo, you see just how much it has changed and how much it really hasn't changed. In downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.